What's up fam, Bisquicks here and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite bad bitch Sombra and how she decimates those dirty dive comps. So we're going to be topic talking about three main topics today. That's going to be her hack, her EMP and her translocator and invisibility. So first things first, let's start off with the most important ability, her hack. So the hack is the most devastating ability to fuck up the dive comp because it completely negates divers from using their abilities. Dive heroes like Genji, Tracer, Winston, and D.Va all rely on their abilities. That's how they are able to prance in and out of the fight as they please. So for example, a hacked Winston will get obliterated by your team. Once that fucker is hacked, he's just a big juicy target that you and your team can farm their ults off of. Another easy hack would be D.Va. Since you can hack through a defense matrix, there's really no way of her stopping I'm going to be going over the hack priority. So first things first is you're probably going to be wanting to deal with the initiating tanks such as D.Va and Winston. Once you hack these guys, they really have nothing to do. Like I said before, they're just big meat shields that are going to be able to just farm your teammates alts. Uh, next would have to be the flankers such as Genji and Tracer. So I don't know if you've ever been Genji or Tracer and got hacked before, but it's honestly shit. When you do hack the Genji, he has completely no abilities to get away. He can't deflect. He can't switch strike. He's just an easy target for you and your team. And Tracer has got to be an even easier one with no blink or recall. She's just swiggling around doing nothing and 150 HP is real real easy to take care of. It's even easier than taking care of one of those fucking baby divas, okay? Then you'd probably want to hack the Mercy so that bitch can't get off her res because fuck man, fuck Mercy. That's all I gotta say. She's res too many times and she's cheesed me so if you make sure that you hack her then she can't really cheese you anymore so fuck her, right? Uh, last wouldn't be really anybody else left on the team whether that be a Lucy or Zenyatta, you don't really get too much kind of benefit from hacking these characters. You get more benefit from EMPing these characters, which I'll talk about later on. Now, if you see on the screen here, this is just a quick little uh, clip to see how far Sombra's hack action can go. Now, a good idea is to get into a custom game or a quick play to get a good feel of how far you have to be to actually hack the enemy and how long it takes. Because in a game, sometimes certain scenarios when you do think you can hack, if you haven't really practiced this character before, you'll realize you really can and you just fucked up your team. Now they're losing SR because of your fucking dumbass self. So next thing we're going to be going on to is Sombra's EMP, okay? Now you better make sure you EMP those bitches because Sombra's EMP has got to be the best the best hands down ultimate in the game, especially against those fucking divers, okay? So Sombra's the EMP does the same thing as a hack, except better. It has an insane spherical range, hacks everything that gets in its way from other players to health packs, and to top it all off, it completely removes the shields of an enemy. The last part here is great because if the enemy team is running a Zenyatta or a Zarya, which is going to be even more prevalent in the meta after that Graviton Surge update, now that the divers can't get out, so this she might be a good counter dive hero as well anyways it cuts their health in half sorry it goes down to 200 hp and my good old friend zenyatta gets murked down to a wimpy 50. honestly you can sneeze on him a couple times and he'll die which is great because fucking that discord orb is a bitch on the screen here you're gonna see a quick clip well a quick couple clips on how insane the range of the emp is now i was completely astounded myself i didn't even really know it was this big but when i went into a couple of the maps and we were just seeing how much space that summer's emp actually covers you can completely cover the whole fucking point, the last point of any of those two CP maps, which is great because every time that they dive on you, if you just fucking EMP, then sorry guys, you can't do anything to me and my team, we go win. When do you want to EMP? Best time to EMP is when the enemy team is trying to make a push. In an ideal situation, you want to set up in a choke and EMP before the team even has a chance to push or use any ultimate. But let's face it, life doesn't always work out the way that you want it to. So if plan A doesn't work and the enemy team has already started throwing alts, then you will want to EMP before they have a chance to get any more off. Now, if done successfully, the enemy team will have wasted an alt and your team will be the fuckers on top. Now, who should you EMP? This is a key question, all right? Now, anybody and everybody you can that's the simplest answer you want to try to get as many people as many health packs and really whatever you can inside that emp because the more people that are emp then the more people that can't use their ultimates or can't really use any abilities at all right so best people if you are have to like pick a couple 
um, would be ones with shields such as Zarya and Zenyatta since they remove such a large chunk of their health pool. Next would be the tanks because like we talked about before with the hack, make some big hunky targets so you and your team can just farm your alt off. And then of course your flankers like Tracer and Genji because like we said before with the hack it just makes some really easy targets as well. And last, any of those pesky healers such as Mercy because like we said before we do not want that bitch to res. No, fuck off. The last part is going to be her translocator and invisibility. Now the translocator and invisibility give you the tools you need to be in the right spot at the right time. With the use of these two abilities, you can get into awkward angles to take out key targets of the enemy team. Now I don't know if you've ever had a pharmacy completely wreck your team because I sure have. It's one of the strongest uh, duos inside the game right now, but with Sombra's translocator, you can get into an awkward angle and hack that mercy and get her ass out of the air. And then you can choose to duel with either the Pharah or the Mercy as you please and it honestly makes life a lot easier if you have any of those key targets that are really just trying to fuck you up because once you get set up in whatever position that you are nobody knows where you are because you're either invisible or you can kind of like shift over to wherever you want so it really really does help take care of these key targets me playing somber myself what i like to do is i like to do my invisibility and i like to kind of set up in the back and then just try to take out the enemy mercy or the zenyatta just pick a healer really quick because since nobody knows where you are and you're coming from behind it's actually really 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 easy to take care of these targets but that's going to be all that i have to say today i really hope you guys do enjoy and if you guys got any comments any feedback anything that you didn't agree on or you did agree on make sure you leave a note in the comments below subscribe and like because we've got a lot a lot of videos coming out soon as we all know the destiny 2 beta i believe starts on monday or tuesday so it starts pretty damn soon so we're going to be having a lot of destiny 2 videos coming out and if you guys haven't already subscribed to our twitch channel and followed us there we're a stream all the time so make sure you come check us out there but as always May the sun god smile upon your ass.